but we'll go through. Okay. Uh, we have uh, a few items that we need to discuss. First of all, as usual, uh, we've got we've all received uh, Laura's minutes from uh, last month. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the minutes uh, as prepared? So moved. Motions are made. I have a second. Second. Is there, need, is there a need for any discussion? Hearing no need, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, very good. Thank you. Laura, could you uh, give us the treasurer's report, please? Sure. Um, actually, one of the correspondence items is that we did get our November um, ledger reconciliations from the town accountant today. Picked them up. And um, so every, this is all sort of reconciled up until the latest as of today. Um, okay. Our grant money still has the $592.14 in it. Our donation account has $2,896.61. And the budget after the security system cameras comes out, which... Has, I haven't seen that one come through yet, but um, there will be $824.93. So it looks like we have, you know, plenty to do with what's left in the year. Okay, very good. James, are you going to be sending that invoice around so we can all get signed off on it and get yeah. you your money? Yeah, I'll get to that soon. Okay, very good. And Carl? Yes. Did you get the tank wrap insulation stuff? I have been paid for that. I got the check from the treasurer, yes. Okay, because that has not cleared yet, so that must have happened in December. Yeah, I just got it a few days ago. Okay. Actually. All right. That, that was another. That and a couple of national grid bills have not cleared yet, so that was, that was yeah. it. All right. Very good. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report as presented? I move to accept the treasurer's report. Motion is made. Second. Can I have a second? I'll second. Deborah? Any need for further discussion? Hearing no need for further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Very good. Thank you. Incoming correspondence. I don't think I have anything that I'm aware of anyway. Um, I picked up the mail today. And so, yeah, the, the ledger of reconciliation were in there. And a new national grid bill for November, December was there for $10.72. Okay. Um, Carla, you were ready tomorrow if I try to drop this off? Yeah, whatever you whatever you want to. Uh, let's wait till it gets a little warmer so you don't have to be out in this stuff. But yeah, anytime. <laughs> I've got to do a few errands anyway. So yeah, probably tomorrow afternoon sometime. <laughs> okay, we should be here. Okay. No problem. If, no if problem. I'll, I can give you a call ahead of time, whatever. All right. Very good. Um, and the only other, you know, physical mailbox at the town hall correspondence was um, a select board invitation. Unfortunately, <laughs> I picked this up today, a select board invitation to the badge pinning ceremony for oh, yeah. a police Eric Schoener that was on December 20th. So congratulations to him. Yes, absolutely. Very good. And the only other thing in there was um, a Mass Farm Bureau Federation letter, um, basically um, explaining changes to the AGCOM membership program. Apparently, um, as we all know, that we, as a as an agricultural commission, we are all members of the Farm Bureau for free. And I guess there's been a lot of like turnover in some of the ag comms across the state where they, um, yeah, so people are no longer on the ag com, but they haven't been cleaned up off the Mass Farm Bureau's list. So they're trying to kind of crack down on that basically. Okay. Yeah, there is one other change within the Farm Bureau. Uh, they have dropped the insurance company that they've been dealing with. I think it's American insurance or something like that. That's where I get my farm insurance and liability insurance, all that stuff from. But they're changing to a uh, new organization. 
I think it's called ABC. I don't have the document in front of me. Uh, and in any event, uh, the board of directors has made have made that decision. Apparently, the new company has uh, more access to different agencies for different coverage. So I guess they figured it would be a better approach for the uh, farm community. I haven't received my letter. It's supposed to be forthcoming. It might be in the mailbox. I haven't been out in the mail in a couple of days, but that's the gist of it. So I don't know if any of you others have uh, the current insurance through the, through the Farm Bureau. Anything else, uh, Laura? Um, that was it from the box at the town hall. Okay. Any emails? There, there are a few. There are, well, other than the newsletters that I won't bother with. I mean. Excuse me. Can I not put any more? Um, yeah. The other, the other things were select board switch to Zoom meetings, which happened on December 21st, which I think we're all aware of because here we are. Um, there was also, oh, yes. Um, on December 22nd and January 6th. There were two notices reminding people of the deadline for annual town reports, and both of them said five gold stars for AGCOM on December 15th. So <laughs> congratulations, Carl. Hey, I didn't do it alone. You all helped. You all reviewed it. <laughs> um, on January 3rd, there was a, um, an email from the town administrator to the select board related to the restructure, I'm sorry, not the restructure, the um, community garden application review request, um, hope, requesting that the select board ratify the new non-resident fee structure. Right, we'll get into that in a few minutes. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I haven't seen Deborah, anything more come into yeah. that, but I'm sure we're gonna get into that later. Yeah, and Deborah will, uh, will address that. Sure. And then on January 6th, um, select board advisory from the Board of Health regarding a mask mandate for inside town owned buildings effective January 4th. So that was it. Okay, very good. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? Uh, I should mention because it'll be relevant to some of the things that we're going to mention next. Uh, I don't know if you're all aware of it, but uh, our town administrator, she'll be out on medical leave. Uh, I think it's starting uh, next week. And uh, for a fairly extended period of time. So uh, just so you're aware of that. And uh, like I say, uh, I'll mention it again in some of the other items we got to talk about tonight. <clears throat> so uh, going on to old business. And uh, first, the item we have there right now is the Myra Health Benefits Trust Wellness Grant application, which is due on February 2nd of uh, this year. So uh, we had discussed this before, and <clears throat> our initial plan was, uh, first of all, the grant has an upper limitation of $5,000 that the town can submit for. And uh, Deborah and I have been working on this. Uh, our initial thinking was, well, you know, maybe we'll go in for somewhere around $4,000 or thereabouts uh, for items for the community garden. So about two weeks ago, Shortly after our last meeting, I was in a discussion with Margaret on some other matter, and the subject of this grant came up, and she said, oh, she was planning on submitting the grant as well. And uh, the number she had in mind plus the number I had in mind exceeded the $5,000. So we knew that wouldn't work. So we had a understanding that we would both try to tailor our, each portion of our grants to a maximum of $2,500. So I went off in that direction. She's, she's applying for uh, health equipment, exercise equipment, things of that nature. <clears throat> so I went off and started doing some research about tillers and other things that Deborah and I have been discussing over the past several weeks. And uh, a sizable tiller uh, in itself, a Troy built 10 horsepower, is uh, almost $2,900. So I sent an email to uh, Margaret asking, you know, if, it, if there's any possibility, depending on how much she was going to end up with, if it could work within the total parameter, recognizing that we have probably both previously had a gentleman, a gentleman's agreement of around $2,500. So 
So any, in any event, she came back a few days ago uh, suggesting that we could submit the grant for around $3,500 and her grant would be uh, significantly less than what she was looking for. So with that, Deborah and I came up with uh, three items. I, uh, Troy built big red 10 horsepower tiller for $2,849.99. Uh, an additional uh, large galvanized stock tank or a raised bed similar to the ones we already have in place at the garden for $369.99. Plus a uh, lightweight wheelbarrow with two wheels for good stability for $189 for a total of $3,000. $408.98. So knowing that Margaret was under a prime crunch because of her upcoming medical leave, uh, she asked that we submit this as soon as possible, submit our, our grant application, which I did, uh, I guess it was Monday morning when I sent it in to her. And uh, she came back this afternoon with an email saying, wonderful, and that she would be supporting the grant and submitting it uh, sometime today. And we'll furnish a final a copy of that for our file. So that's where we are on that. Uh, it's been submitted. And uh, hopefully uh, it will be a positive thing. And uh, we'll have a nice large tiller take care of our Killing me that God was the other items. Anybody have any questions on that? All right, very good. Uh, moving on to new business. <clears throat> First item is the, uh, I bring this up as you know, every January of the ICOM organization, what we want, want to do. So before we get into that, let me just preface it with a couple of items I want to bring to your attention. Uh, in uh, in uh, May of 23, my current term will be expiring on the ICOM. Uh, in April of 23, I'll be 80 years old. I don't imagine saying I'm going to be 80 years old, but that's the facts. So uh, I don't believe I'll be renewing my uh, ADCOM uh, activity beyond May of uh, 23. So we wanna kinda keep that in mind and plan so we can have a good transition and do whatever we need to do to maintain the great organization we've established here. So with that being said, okay, anybody want this high paying job or any other position changes uh, within the organization? No. Okay. Anybody else? <laughs> Would you like to vote to maintain uh, the current organization as it stands? I have a motion. I move to keep it the same. Okay. Motion to made. Can we have a second? Second on the motion. Motion to made. Second. All right. Any need for further discussion? Hearing no need. All in favor? All right. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, next item. Community garden rules. Deborah, you got the floor. Well, I sent it out to everyone. It, as you know, my mission has been to make it as simple as possible because um, I know in reality from what I have worked with the last couple of years, people don't read them. And that has made my job really difficult. So um, I have now, my, my goal was to get it to one page. I've got it to about a page and three quarters this year. Um, I did send it out to everyone and I'm hoping that people had a chance to look at it, uh, to offer any suggestions um, or corrections that needed to be made so that we can post it on the website because with the new application, again, to cut down the paperwork, 
I wanted not only the people to be able to apply for their plots, but then also to sign off on the same sheet. Whereas in the past, it was a separate sheet that they had to sign off on. So when I get this uh, in the mail, probably starting tomorrow, um, even though they can't have signed off on the rules because I checked today, they haven't been posted yet because we had to approve them. Um, it will be one page with their application and then their acknowledgement that they've read the rules, understand them and have signed off on them. So um, did anybody see anything that needs correction or? Um, in Michael's email to me, notifying me he wouldn't be here this evening, uh, he said he had no problems with it. So I'll just throw that out of for you, so you know about it. Okay. If nobody has any changes, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, accept the uh, uh, rules as uh, prepared and distributed by uh, Deborah. Uh, you know, you have a second. I second. I second. Motion to make second. Uh, is there any need for uh, further discussion? Hearing no need, all in favor? Aye. All, right. all right, very good, thank you. Okay, so my question now is this, even though the we have not changed really any of the rules, they're all exactly the same, but in the sign off at the very bottom, it's revised by the um, Berlin. Select board. Yeah, select board. Yeah. Um, it has to go before the board before we yeah. can post them to make sure that it is acceptable to the select board. Yeah, I think we have to certainly give them, continue giving them the courtesy of looking at it uh, like we have over the years. And I want to continue that. And uh, I think we should uh, just uh, make a clarification in the transmittal document and email, most likely, that there really haven't been any substantive changes to the rules and regulations, it's been mostly editorial and trying to make it uh, more condensed and clear, or words to that effect. And I think that's an accurate statement. Wouldn't you agree, Deborah? Yeah, I, I did not I did not change anything. I think maybe the only part that was changed was to clarify um, about the plot assignments and yep. how they were fully, dis uh, the distribution was fully to Berlin residents and then if there was anything left over, then people from uh, surrounding towns were able to apply. And then right, that which has been the, excuse me, which has been the standard practice. Right, right. But it was it was not in the original, it was not in the rules before. Okay. Okay. So um, that's why I tried to clarify that. Okay, very good. All right. Okay, this so is the does the select board meet next Monday or? We are off on, um, we're off next week so we can do the uh, uh, coffee right. talk on Thursday, but we will be meeting on the, whatever it is, the 24. We're still, we have still two, uh, another meeting still this month. So Deborah, why don't you uh, take the action to forward that if you, if you don't mind? Forward it, who should I forward it to, Mary? Uh, I think the yeah, town administrator email account is still being monitored by people, even in Margaret's absence. Yeah, I just address it to the select board, and Mary will take it from there, I believe. Okay. Uh, for them to uh, take a look at it and make sure that it's acceptable and... Yeah, just to, uh, you know, to review it and provide their concurrence. Okay. If you want, we can, if you want later on, we can go over the language if you want to send me the proposal, like we've done before. If you want to send me the proposed language, and we'll, 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 we'll go over it. Okay. All right, I can do that. Um, I, ha I did have a quick question, and that goes back to um, the application because I've already received an email about the um, application. And notably, this was in the old rules and regulations, but I can see that I omitted it in the new um, Berlin senior age. In the old oh. rules and regulations, it was 65. Oh, yeah. I missed and that. Too. I did not put that in the application what the Berlin senior age was. 
Um, so I had a resident um, asking me about that. So are we staying with age 65 as Berlin senior? I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I, I think there's no need to change that. Okay. So I will note that for next year to make sure that that gets corrected on the application since the others have all gone out, you know, it's all gone out already. Okay. Um, Can I make a suggestion? You, mm -hmm. you, had, you had another page and I don't have it in front of me that that's going to go on our website addressing the application. Okay. Would you would we amend that at this time to put a note in that there was an oversight in the application and about, you know, putting the age in at 65, words to that effect? Okay, so you're referring to the, the blurb that comes up when someone clicks on community yes. garden. Okay, yeah. so yeah. if I put in about age 65, yeah. send that yeah. to the select board. I'm just making sure I'm hearing yeah. what you're saying yeah. um, and that at well, least it would be there. Okay. Excuse me. I don't know that that, the, 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 the application has already been approved by the select board, mm -hmm. right? And we have this minor oversight or error, if you will. We haven't changed anything. We just forgot to put it in the application saying seniors are people 65 or, or older. Okay. So all I think you have to do is in that front page that we have that addresses the application itself, just put a note in there saying, as a clarification, you know, we overlooked putting this in and it's page 65, which is that? Okay, I'll take a look at the wording of it and may just be able to put that in as yeah. part of the, the sentence. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. And again, we can discuss it, you know, if you wanna, you know, send me something, we, we can go over it. Okay. And James has set up the link so that as soon as this is all approved, they'll just go right onto the website. Excellent. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Are you there? Yep. Yep. Sure thing. <laughs> I don't know if you fell asleep there. It's all. It's because we can't see it. We can't see it. You know. Still <laughs> here. And, um, okay. So yeah, all right. So right away. we can just flip a switch and we'll all go live. So. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. So uh, Laura had brought up the application before, and I think uh, uh, Debbie just covered all of that. If anybody has any concerns or questions about the application, uh, speak up now. All right, moving on. Uh, we discussed this uh, last time, uh, at, um, vacancy, we are a short one member of us, unfortunately due to Buddy's passing. <coughs> I don't know if you've given it any more thought uh, or if you want to wait a bit more to discuss it further, but it's open for discussion if you, if you want to uh, address that at this time. Would Deborah like to be a full member? I mean? <clears throat> Would Deborah like to be a full member of the Agricultural Commission? I'm sorry, Kevin, I didn't hear the name. Would Deborah like to be the full member? Oh, oh okay, because she's an alternate now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's James, a good point. James, James and I are both alternates because I was Oh, that's say, right. I forgot maybe about that. James would like to be the full member, but I'm good. Who's been on the longest? Team. Who's been on the longest? <laughs> James. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you hear him say uh-oh? <laughs> well, well, if you want to wait, James, we could ask Deborah. <laughs> you, know, you two can decide. <laughs> I never could figure out what the difference is between a full member and an alternate. I look at everybody as participating and voting members and whatever. So I don't know if there's any difference, but it's a good point, Kevin. You raise a good point. <laughs> so what would you like to do, folks? I'm, I'm happy either way. Yeah, happy either I'm, way. I'm good as an alternate, but if no one else wants to okay. become a full member, then, then I'm happy to. So. Okay. Deborah, would you like to step up as a full member? I would, like to, I would like to defer to James because he has been on the board longer than I have. And I think that's fine. But if he, you know, either way, either one of us. He sort of indicated he was happy where he is at the moment. I think that's what he said. And correct me, James, if I'm wrong. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm good as I am. Okay. All right. Well, I move that we uh, elect James. <laughs> Uh 
Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Motions are made. Somebody want to second it? <laughs> I'll second it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are making it tough for me tonight. <laughs> okay, a motion is made and seconded to uh, promote James from an alternate to a full time membership. All in favor? Aye. 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 Guess what, James? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, shall we move on to one more item? CPA uh, fence grant. So this is another grant that uh, Deborah and I have been working on. And let me just get my paperwork shuffled around here. So you'll recall that we submitted a preliminary application because that's what the CPA rules require. And that was done back in the, uh, let's see, I guess it was early, uh, back in the October timeframe uh, when we did that. And we ended up calling Arrow Fence Company in Marlboro because uh, they were, the people who installed a fencing system at the Hudson Community Garden some 15 or 17 years ago. And we were under a bit of a time constraint. So we asked them for a quick quote and they gave us a quote of uh, $36,035 subject to them reviewing the site. So we submitted that number as our preliminary preliminary application, if you will. Uh, then we had uh, to submit uh, before the 12th of this month, our final application. And in the meantime, uh, we invited Arrow to uh, meet with us at the community garden, which Deborah met with them. I wasn't available that day and went over the details. And uh, we talked about uh, the gate system, our original requirement was one eight foot gate, one four foot gate. And we realized that we should have another four foot gate if you have an easier access to the handicap raised bed area. And we should have an additional eight foot gate for easier access for, you know, anybody that wants and needs to till the garden with a tractor or if we have to bring in uh, uh, the town's front end loader to re empty the stone buckets or you know, remove a rotted raised beds or any kind of work like that. So with that, we ended up getting a firm quote uh, from Arrow uh, in the amount of uh, $39,342. So that's an increase of $3,307. And uh, that's the numbers we went with. Uh, that's the whole pro purpose, I believe, of the process of having a two-stage application. So you can firm things up in the second part of the application. So that has been submitted uh, to this CPA uh, committee. Uh, I believe they're meeting on the 26th of this month. Is that right, Elaine? Elaine? My wife, Elaine, is on the commission. Is it the 26th? Yes, they're meeting on the 26th uh, of this month. Uh, if all goes well and everybody on, approves it at that point, then this will be presented at the uh, May uh, town meeting so that the voters can uh, either approve or reject the expenditures of this CPA funding. funding. This is not a raise and appropriate, the money's already there just a question if this is how it, whether it's just a question is if whether this is how they want to spend it. Anybody have any questions on that? Again, the design uh, that's going to be utilized will be uh, very, very similar to that which is in place at the Hudson Community Garden, which is really nice uh, uh, fencing requirements. 
Any other questions on that subject? Okay. So that is basically our agenda. I did say it would be fairly short this evening. Uh, does anybody have any other comments, observations, complaints, or whatever? Now's the time to speak up. All right, hearing none, uh, make a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Motion is made and second. Second. All favor, very good. I don't think there's any need for discussion. Stay, stay warm, folks. <laughs> <laughs>